that we've inputted all of the information, we can export a report. This can either be viewed online, you can export it as a PDF, or you can share it by link with people. So let's have a quick look at this report. You don't need to do anything to this. It's all automatically formatted and all of the information is populated from your input earlier on in the appraisal process. So to kick things off, we've got the site address and the appraisal description at the top with the date that it was created. We then have a uh, Google map of the site, which is automatically populated from the site address, the development summary, which we inputted on the appraisal page, and then we've got a one-page summary financial appraisal. So this shows you all of your key metrics and data points all on one page. So as you can see at the bottom here, we have the project IRR, the return on equity, return on cost, and return on GDV, also the profit figure. We then break this down into sections. So we then go into a lot more detail. So we've got the site break, uh, the sales breakdown. So here we can see the number of units, the square footage, the pounds per square foot, the values, etc., cetera, um, with the full list and schedule of accommodation. We then also have the site purchase information, the build cost information, other costs, the finance section, showing the breakdown of equity in from the developer, as well as all of the lenders in the debt stack. And then finally, we also have a sensitivity analysis. And this sensitivity analysis is very useful because it looks at what happens in different scenarios. So here we can see what happens if the GDV, the gross development value, drops by five or 10, 15 or 20%, or goes up. And what would happen with that scenario against the build cost either going up or down. So, for example, our base case scenario is here in the middle. If the GDV dropped by 10% and our build cost went up by 10%, we'd actually be making a minus one percentage return on cost. So you wanna see as much green as possible here, but this is a really great tool for understanding the risk profile of your project. I'm gonna scroll back to the top, and what I'm gonna do is show you how to export this as a PDF. To do that, what we do is we click on the print report button. From here, this opens a print dialog. And what you want to do is make sure that the background graphics are ticked and headers and footers is unticked. Now you can see from this preview that the pages are perfectly formatted on a page by page basis, ready for saving as a PDF. You'll need to choose save as PDF from your print dialog over on the right hit save and that will save this as a pdf to your dashboard or your downloads for you to save and share with whoever you want to the final way of sharing this is by link so i return back to the project page here next to an appraisal i can click the menu and click share when i do this i can turn on link based sharing which puts you in control of who you are allowing to see your appraisal I'm going to copy that link and I can send that by email or by chat, whoever you want, however you want, to whoever you want. So that's ideal for sharing projects both internally and externally within your business. When the person receiving that opens it, they will see a summary, a web-based summary of that appraisal. They can't touch it, they can't edit it, but they can view it. They can also save it as a PDF. And if they are an Apreo customer, they will also have the opportunity to click this button and save that appraisal to their dashboard to edit a copy. But don't worry, it won't change your original appraisal.